like to do um, when I'm packing a suitcase is put all my shoes at the bottom. Um, I don't like to put them in a separate suitcase because that adds on baggage. And then um, also I like to put all my shoes at the bottom of my suitcase and try to fit them like a Tetris board so they all fit in perfectly together to be as flat as can be at the bottom because that will be like my base of like my packing. And then I take my flat shoes like my sandals and my slippers and I put them, tuck them into the side because those are easy to put in. And um, I have like my regular slippers for like bath stuff and all that. So next I put in my handbags and my handbags is like the next base to put on top of my clothes and I make those as flat as can be. I put the least important clothes at the bottom, closest to my shoes, and that will be my pajamas. And then I build up from there. And um, I try to put um, all the darks closer to the bottom because you have shoes down there and shoes can make marks on your clothes and stuff. So that's why I put my PJs at the bottom. Then my outfits are stacked based on days. So like one day, one outfit, all together in one. And then on my whites, I like to put them in a separate bag to avoid getting dirty and stuff. And I just brought the Charlotte Reese bag and put any pieces from my, from an outfit for a day in there. So for Nigeria, it's going to be hot, so um, all my clothes will be kind of not so bulky. Mostly dresses, um, skirts and skirts and blouses, and I stack, stack them on days. So one, one dress, one, one skirt, and a top all together. So that's how I can stack them. As much as I can stack them on one side of the suitcase to save room, as high as I can get it without overfilling on one side and stuff. And um, after I put all my whites in the bag and then I just roll up my bag and um, tuck that into its own place. And one thing I really like is that my clothes were not bulky at all. So I had a lot of leftover room um, in my suitcase for extra stuff. Just in case, you know, there's like excess baggage somewhere or, or suitcase is too heavy, you can put extra stuff in there. Yeah, that fit in perfectly. And then all my personals, bras and underwear. Okay, so the first thing before I open it, I have my neck pillow. And this is the, my first time buying a neck pillow and using it for travel. And I found this at Marshalls also when I bought my suitcase and it was $7.99. So I said, um, let me just get it. And there was black and blue and brown. So I got the black one so it could match um, anything that I'm wearing. And this pillow has been very handy in my travels to Nigeria. Very, very, very handy. So I'm really happy that I bought it. So in this first pocket, all I have is just my travel itinerary that I um, that my dad printed out. So that's all that is in here. Like my hotel stuff, um, flight information, confirmation numbers and stuff. So that's the only thing I put in here. Um, a little bit about my, my carry-on. So, um, before I open it, the carry-on, um, I since I'm doing international travel and I'm going to Nigeria, um, I said let me do carry-on. Because usually I don't like to do carry-on if I'm flying an airline that doesn't charge for baggage. So international carry-on, you're going to be on the plane for more than a day. So it's good to have, um, let me scooch this over so I can put it against the wall. It's good to have... Um, all the travel essentials that you'll need for traveling for over for a couple days because you don't get you and I don't get into my destination until two days after I travel so so let me do the um, these compartments back here so or in the front so first I have my um, my laptop charger in here and then I have my my vlog camera and my main camera charger in here Actually, no, this is just my vlog camera charger. And then in here, um, I have um, some perfume that couldn't fit in my other um, bag that's in here, which I'll get to later. And then this pocket, I have um, my tea. So I like to travel with tea when I go places, like foods that I like to have because I, I need them and stuff. So I packed um, uh, like six tea bags of different flavors that I like to drink in the morning in here. And then I also have another baggie of medication. So I have like ibuprofen, um, my, um, what do you call it, allergy medication, and then like um, X-Lax and Tylenol in here. And then um, in here is my, since it's international travel and you'll be sleeping somewhere, 
on your journey. I brought this some um, scarf that I can t tie for my edges and stuff if I want to um, tie my hair up. And then in here I have um, personals, like, and I just use this like um, Louis Vuitton dust bag that I have, and I put stuff in there like, um, like personals. I mean like undergarments and stuff, like um, underwear and stuff because you're going to be traveling for over a couple days so it's good to always have undergarments that are fresh so you can change them as the days go by and then I have this brush in here for my hair and it's not cooperating going back into its compartment okay and then I have an extra pair of sunglasses and then my other sunglasses will be in my purse which I will hit on later okay so international travel gonna need your blanket so I have this blanket and it's dusty because but the um, not dusty but like linty because like my carpet in my apartment um, is uh, like wool so it kind of comes off but this is my blanket and this blanket is from Walmart and it was probably like three or four dollars so I always have to have a blanket because I get cold easily and then on top here I have my laptop case and um, I just put my laptop in here but you know what a laptop looks like so there's no point in opening that up and I put my laptop in my carry-on because all my valuables I put on, on my on hand because I don't want to um, have them in my checked-in luggage so I don't risk being them being damaged or broken or stolen because you're going to Nigeria. So, so I have my Mac um, Book Pro in here, and then I have my um, DSLR camera in here, but I took it out because I have to film this, so it's in here. And then um, this is my makeup bag. And I like to have my makeup on me because after a travel and then you get to your destination, you're going to be seeing, you know, friends and family and stuff. So you got to make sure that your face is fresh and everything like that. So all my makeup that I brought for my trip is in here. And this is like a three-tier bag that I got from Kendra for my birthday. And this bag has come in very much handy. And then in here, I have this um, toiletry bag. And this is all my bath stuff that I'm traveling with I put in here and I got this bag from uh, Marshalls so in here I'm not gonna go in detail but I have like my bath sponge um, shower gel face scrub um, face wipes my toothbrush toothpaste face wash face lotion rest of my perfumes and all that so I keep it in here so when you're traveling it's another way to keep fresh so you can brush your teeth um, if you need to like um, what else? Yeah, wipe your face with the face, um, the face wipes, and then wash my face and all that stuff like that. So try to keep fresh as much as I can, and also I don't want to put all my liquids in my carry-on because they're going to be handling my my bag, my carry on my checked-in baggage. You know, when you travel internationally, like your checked-in badge baggage goes to hell and back. So I don't want to risk anything being like punctured or exploding and liquids and onto my clothes and stuff and not finding a way to like wash it or have an extra pair of clothes and stuff so all that stuff that can mess up my clothes I put in here next is the rest of my makeup and all my palettes are in here so this is like this is like all my liquids and brushes and mascaras all the stuff like that and here's all my eyeshadow palettes face palettes foundations and stuff like that and then here I have these two um, these two baggies so the first one is this one and this is where I keep like all my um, chargers and cords and stuff so I have like an extra SD um, SD card my iPad charger my cell phone charger extra battery my headphones and stuff and then in this bag this is um so I don't like to travel with my jewelry in my carry-on because it takes up space and it's heavy but I put a couple of my jewelries that I want to wear um, when I get off the plane, so when I get off, the, when I'm traveling, I don't, I don't want to wear jewelry because I'll be wearing it for a long time. So I put the, the jewelry that I want to wear with my outfit when I get off the plane in here, and I also put in my most expensive jewelry is my Michael Kors watch and stuff. I don't want to put that in my check baggage because the risk of it getting stolen or if my baggage gets lost, you know, like that's lost and stuff. So I just put it on me, so I know that that I have it with me. And then that's on this side and then under my makeup I have two towels so my first towel is 
um, like a body towel or a face towel and I just brought another one like a face cloth so like when I'm traveling and um, I want to like wash my face and stuff I have a towel that I need to wash my face and also a towel for towel for anything else that comes up and actually something did come up um, on my way to Nigeria I had watermelon in um in, um, in a bowl and um, it tipped over in my my I put the bowl in a plastic bag in my handbag and then my handbag and it tipped over and then my handbag at the bottom got wet and then I had this towel to put at the bottom to soak up the stuff and then put my stuff back on top of it so it really came in handy and I use this blue towel to dry my face off when I would wash my face on the airplane before I went to sleep and when I woke up the next morning so that is all in my carry-on baggage and I tried to make it um, package as nice as I could so that um, it was neat and um, I could find things easily because um, when you're like in, your, in the airplane and you want to go get something, you, it's good to know exactly where it is so you don't waste time rummaging through your stuff and it getting lost and then there's people that you know you're pulling your stuff out in front of and in the way. So always have it um, organized, you know exactly where everything is, compartmentalize all that stuff and then um, it'll make life easier and it has been very easy for traveling for me so far just to have all this valuable stuff and like quick stuff that I need to like maintain like all uh, myself like bath stuff and toothbrush and stuff in here so that is in my carry-on Okay, now what's in my my handbag? So this is my Louis Vuitton um, Palermo PM purse, and I bought this in 2012 for myself as a as a graduation gift. And I decided to use this as my main handbag in traveling to Nigeria because it'll match everything, and it's big enough to hold a lot of things for travel and going out. Now the one thing is, is this is a big mistake taking this bag to travel to Nigeria because. Um, um, right now it's actually rainy season in Nigeria, so um, my leather got spotted a little bit from the rain. And um, all you people out there that um, and all you people out there that carry Louis and stuff and have experience with it, um, it's good to have your leather tan evenly and not um, get spotted with like oils and water, so that your um, leather will be all one color. So I don't like to carry my handbag when it's raining outside. Then I forgot to realize that it's rainy season in Nigeria, so this bag was not a good choice. And also the sun will in Nigeria will tan it even more easily and the sweat and stuff on the handle. So um, this is the last time that I'll be carrying a Louis Vuitton to a hot place like Nigeria. So what I did when I got to Nigeria, I just took like my clutches around with me and stuff instead of carrying this around because I didn't want it to get too, too more ruined than it already was. All right, so what's in my purse? So first I'll pull out my iPad. So I put my iPad in my purse because, you can see me. I put my iPad in my purse because I didn't want to, it's one of those gadget, gadgets that I can use and um, it's pull out really fast and stuff. And I have my music on there. I can take pictures, take videos, watch videos and stuff. But if I, if I have internet, so this is my um, my iPad. Next, I have my notebook, and this is my notebook where I, I write down like everything in my life. Um, I'm more of like some people like to write down like um, notes and ideas, like on their iPhone, on their um, on their cell phones. But I like to always write all my stuff down. So I got this um, book from Walmart, and it was like from the clearance rack. And I put my pen here, and then. I, I write everything in here, like my grocery list, ideas for videos, to-do lists, schedules for the month, like everything. Like right now, I'm planning Nikkei's bachelorette party and bridal shower, so I have like the food menu, the decor menu, um, um, all the stuff that's happening at the bachelorette party. All right, going on. So next, I have this um, my this Louis clutch, and I keep this clutch. Um, it, it goes through phases on what I use it for, but for this traveling, I put all my my lip stuff. So I have what is in here? My Chanel lips, my Chanel lipstick, my Vaseline I keep as a lip gloss. This mirror that my dad got me. It's a Bulgari mirror from a Bulgari um, perfume set, and then I have my lip gloss in here. So that's all that I put in here. 
and um sometimes like this is like very important to me this is like my lifeline my vaseline so sometimes i leave it out so i can like get it really fast and stuff but i said let me just keep it and put it in here for now all right so next i have my hand lotion this is just a travel bottle i got from walmart and stuff so i just put like my um vaseline cocoa butter lotion in here next i have my sunglasses that i'm gonna be traveling with these are my like my main sunglasses and I just, you guys saw my other one in my in my travel on bag but this is my my main one i'm gonna be wearing so as soon as you have to play nigeria the sun is on you and here is my vlog camera and i try to have it handy because i'm been vlogging on my trip so far so as soon as i need to vlog you just pull it right out okay next i have my michael kors uh wallet i just got this wallet it's been a while since i had a new wallet and i just bought this one and it's a small wallet for what i've been carrying over the years and i love it because it's so compact and everything fits in here and i'll have to worry about all the extras so i have my, all my cards in here and then let's see if i have any money nope i just have one crumpled up dollar in here so that's that and then what else do i have in here okay i have my cell phone and this is the cover i chose to travel with because it wasn't too hectic to try to open and stuff like that but i could still see my screen if i needed to and i love this cover and i got this cover off ebay and i'll put the link to um the ebay store that i bought it from it was really cheap too and i think that's it yeah that's everything so this is all the stuff that is in my purse for traveling um international traveling and usually my purse is actually like this even if i'm not traveling this stuff is still the same in there and the only thing that's is there anything that's different no i think everything is the same as if is it just a normal day